Willie D Live. What's up, family? Straight out the gate. This is not a video to discourage anyone from voting for Trump. Vote for who you want to. I truly don't give a damn because what's going to be is going to be. Having said that, I struggle to understand how anyone with at least one brain cell could vote for such an asinine human being. First of all, the dude starts talking about what well, bragging about the size of another man's man meat. Yeah, don't act like you forgot. Bragging about Arnold Palmer's man meat. Talking about how when he bit golf course, dudes would brag about coming out of the shower and talk about the size of it. And he'd talk about it like it was a wonderment, like it was, you know, the eighth wonder of the world. Yeah. He's talking about, that, that, that's a real man. I hear he's a real man. What man? This is for all you followers of him, especially you dudes who say that you're alpha males. What man do you know goes around bragging about the size of another man's man meat? Have you ever bragged about the size of another man's man meat? Have you done it? Let me ask you some, something. Let me ask you a question. Do you think it's appropriate? Do you think that's appropriate? This is the guy you follow. Now I know some of you, well, I don't care what he say. He, I don't care what he do, man. As long, long as he uh, bring the economy up and I can get paid. Really? You don't care long as you get some money out of it. Huh. You know, y'all be saying the same thing about women who just all about money, right? Y'all say they for the streets. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. So first he talks about, well, he brags about the size of another man's man meat. And then at another rally, he starts to simulate fellatio. What man do you know? I mean, man, do you know? Steps up to a podium in front of the world and simulates fellatio. What man do you know that does that? See, I'm just trying to understand y'all. I mean, again, vote for who you want to, but don't try to run it both ways. Like, let me know what's really going on. I could absolutely not ever, ever follow a dude who I think that get down like that. Couldn't be my leader. And I damn sure could not follow a coward. I would not follow a dude who would not ride for me. Because if I'm following him, I would ride for him. But I'm not following the dude that wouldn't ride for me. And here's another thing. I wouldn't put in work for somebody who wouldn't put in work for themselves. I'm not gonna put in work for somebody who wouldn't put in work. Yeah. See, the way I grew up, I don't care how much money you made, how much money you had. If you couldn't defend it, you'd get it taken away from you. If you couldn't defend it, the only way you could get some other guys, some real hitters to defend your money or to help you defend yourself is if you looked out for the little guy. You had to take care of the hood. You had to take care of the children, the old people, even the dudes in the streets. I ain't saying like being no sucker, but I'm just saying, somebody got an issue, you got the money, it can fix it, you help out. That type of help, I'm talking about that dude. If he was a guy like that, he could get a pass. But anybody else that's trying to act tough, trying to act hard, and ain't taking care of the people, oh, no, nah, man, he'd get ran up out of there 
and get robbed and may, may even lose his life. That's how that go. But this guy continues to do whatever the hell he want to do, say whatever the hell he wants to say. I remember when he said he could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue, in the middle of Fifth Avenue, and not go to jail. At first, it sounded like a stretch. But now, I agree, he's absolutely right. There is nothing that he could do to turn those who support him away from him. It don't matter what he do. He could attempt to murder one of his supporters. And that fool would go to his grave saying, Trump, Trump, Trump. Wow. Again, fam, vote for who you want to vote for. I don't give a damn. I'm not riding for Kamala Harris. You see me bragging about Kamala. But make no mistake, anybody but Trump, I'd vote for Winnie the Pooh before I vote for that sucker. Popeye would get more votes. I would vote for Bozo the Clown before I vote for that sucker. Although Bozo the Clown and Trump have a lot of similarities. What I want to know is, when is Donald J. Trump going to come out of the closet? He's a 78 year old man who brags about the size of another man's man meat. He's a 78 year old man who goes around simulating fellatio. That's what he does. That's what he did. These are not accusations. These are facts. When is Donald Trump going to come out of the closet? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk.